Beloved our brothers and sisters in Christ, feed your mind with positive thinking and attract great things into your life. Smile at strangers, slow down, say thank you, laugh and give compliments today. Always find time for the things that make you feel happy. In a remarkable occurrence, a nun within the Vatican was deeply engrossed in prayer when she suddenly bore witness to the apparition of St. Michael. Astonishingly, within a mere two minutes, St. Michael materialized and delivered a pressing message to humanity. Therefore, today we want to share with all of you that message. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. Prayer holds immense significance in our lives and spiritual journey. It serves as a powerful means of connection with the Divine, allowing us to seek guidance, solace, and strength. Prior to delving into the core content of this video, we kindly invite you to join us in a collective moment of prayer. Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the Father. I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness, and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. I receive your forgiveness and ask you to take your rightful place in my life as my Savior and Lord. Come reign in my heart, fill me with your love and your life, and help me become a truly loving person like you. Restore me, Jesus. Live in me. Love through me. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. O oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you all my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my associates, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. Beloved our brothers and sisters in Christ, this message will be the most shocking message because it starts from our familiar thing in-house. Now, the message will be shared with all of you. Beloved children of our King Lord Jesus Christ, I come in the name of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. I am sent to give you the word of our King. The spiritual war will be known to mankind, and they will regret not having believed. All human beings can request assistance from my angelic legions, and we will provide it. At this moment human creatures do not see, do not hear, do not believe. They do not love life, the sacred gift of God for humanity. Beloved children, at the time of the brightest moon in the sky, this mysterious thing will knock on your door and bring you unprecedented surprises. You must pay attention to your shelter at 7.30 p.m. every day. Chastisements are at your door at that time. Additionally, the Holy Catholic Church is in turmoil, having lost sight of the eternal doctrine of Jesus Christ, which has produced so many saints, and which received from the Son of Man the promise to last forever. Yes, it will last forever, this beautiful Catholic religion whose rules, customs, and practices cannot be watered down because they are divine and because man cannot change what God has established. Mankind is creating many sins and lives far away from spiritual life. When the moon shines with unparalleled brilliance, but also carries a dark secret. It is said that during that night, an ominous presence will visit the homes of certain families, knocking on their doors to deliver lethal chastisements. The fateful night will arrive, casting an ethereal glow over many cities. As midnight approaches, an eerie silence fell upon the house. Suddenly, a resounding knock will reverberate through the corridors, 
jolting the family from their uneasy calm. And the chastisements will come to your house with the anger and the punishment with all your sins. Human society will be punished for these sinful acts, and the punishment is coming. I warn you that your acts, your laws, and your behaviors are not in conformity with God's commandments, they cry out to God for vengeance, God with the Father and the Holy Spirit, the three divine persons in one God, is deeply offended by these scandals, these impurities, these derangements. Beloved people of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, humanity will go out of control. Others agree with the new guidelines that have emerged from the Church, but not all. The schism is approaching rapidly. Human beings live in creation, which they are responsible for returning to its original order. The home of the animal, vegetable, and mineral kingdoms has to be returned to its original state by God. You people of our King and Lord must not fear, on the contrary, faith must abound in each one of you. My celestial legions will come to your aid. Have a blessed palm, do not forget it. I bless you with my heavenly legions. Psalm 30 verse 5 For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime, weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. This verse acknowledges the temporary nature of sorrow and suffering, emphasizing that even in the midst of darkness, there is hope for a new dawn. It speaks to the idea that although tragedies may occur during the night, joy and restoration can come with the arrival of a new day. In the midst of our fast-paced and demanding world, it's easy to become disconnected from the spiritual aspects of our lives. We find ourselves consumed by daily routines, chasing material pursuits, and prioritizing external success. However, deep within us, there exists a profound longing for something more, a yearning to embrace our spiritual nature. We must strongly improve our faith again and repent of our sins. Otherwise, chastisements will be at our doors and wait for our pay. It can come at any time with any person, therefore, we must be ready and prepared for everything. Additionally, at 7.30 p.m. every day, we must pay attention to any small change in our house. We must pray for God's blessing and protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil, may God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.